I have a video in the works looking at the likely future world we're going to exist in. It's taking a bit of time because I want to really clarify my thoughts. But one thing that's very clear to me is that in any potential future, as conservatives, traditional people, etc., we need to have much, 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 much firmer boundaries. Now, as I said before on this channel, I believe our country made a massive mistake in focusing too much on economics and forgetting about culture. That means the left have completely swamped the culture now with all their mass immigration, LGBTQ, trans rights stuff that we see every day. Now, they make out that this is just positive social change in the interests of everyone, but everyone I've ever spoken to outside of London doesn't really like it. So it's not in the favour of the majority. So how did it even happen? Well, as well as the aforementioned over-focus on economics over culture, another thing that we've fallen foul of is being way too tolerant. We've had this idea that, look, if we don't make a fuss, these people won't make a fuss themselves, and we'll just leave them do what they're going to do and mind their own business. Now, I can understand that approach. I think there's an English libertarian value in there somewhere of allowing individuals to get on with their own life in peace. The problem is, however, if you give the progressives an inch, they want a mile, and then more, and a fight over it too. This is why we now see biological men allowed in women's bathrooms. Pride, which was once just about accepting gay marriage and gay love and all that sort of stuff, now has marches where you have games like Toss the Ring over various gay sexual aids. On top of that, here's a clip recently of a Muslim lady throwing rocks at Mother Mary at a church in Bradford. Now, I'm old enough to remember that these things started with the notion that everything's our fault. We're just intolerant. If we were more tolerant towards multiculturalism and Islam, there wouldn't be any problems. If we were more accepting of gay marriage and the LGBTQ agenda, there would be no problems. We must wake up and realise that that has been a lie. We've been manipulated. Now, if you raise the aforementioned things I showed you, you will be the problem in modern Britain for being bigoted and evil and intolerant. And in order to deal with this in the future, we must learn that the woke progressive ideology is not about compassion and love and kindness and tolerance. That's just a front for what it really is. What wokeness fundamentally is, is the ideological positioning of the woke adherent as a moral superior to the rest of the world. In their ideology, they always represent the oppressed. It doesn't matter if these people are oppressed in reality or not. What matters is the idea they represent the oppressed. Now, this allows people who are largely immoral or at least amoral to assume that they're better than you and feel they have a natural given right to yell and scream at you. But we also have to understand that their demands aren't really what they want. They don't really care about biological men in women's bathrooms. What they want is to scream at you. They're like an angry, broken teenage daughter who wants a fight, but deep down actually craves the order and authority of a loving father. Yet in our failure to realise this, due largely to men being demoralised and feeling worthless in the modern world, we simply capitulate to their demands in a bid for peace. However, they don't want peace. Once we capitulate to their ideas, they're just going to want something more extreme. This is why once they conquer each arena in their progressive battlefield, they want something else, such as once they've got the trans rights, they're now looking at paedophile rights, what they call minor attracted persons rights. Or take the issue of abortion, which at one point only bothered fringe Christians like myself. However, now I see the issue getting bigger and bigger amongst people not on the left because they see how outrageous it's gone. The progressives are now pushing to go beyond the 24 weeks in UK law, which for me is already way beyond what it should be. Bear in mind world champion boxer Tyson Fury was born at 23 weeks. Yet when Corbyn was leading the Labour Party, there were pushes to make abortion legal up to the day of the birth. And even some progressive philosophers stating that you should be able to abort a baby after the birth. That is the quote-unquote moral philosopher Peter Singer, who is a professor of bioethics. That's modern academia for you. Now, I know it sounds like I'm over-egging these things for dramatic effect, but just think 20 years ago, would society have imagined you'd have biological men in women's bathrooms? How insane would that be? We have to remember, progressives always push for what they call progress. They're not going to stop. And despite this madness, these wokies don't see the mess they're getting themselves and other people into. They simply see themselves as some sort of woke freedom fighter, a 21st century version of Che Guevara, only with a gay flag and a Palestinian kafia while kneeling for black people. 
And the irony is, despite seeing themselves as rebels against the mainstream, they actually are the mainstream. They're establishment-approved, useful idiots, agreeing with all of the government policy, the World Economic Forum mandates, every major corporation and sports team. Essentially, the woke people in the Western world are playing a game. It's called LARPing. Live action role playing is what it means. They don't really buy into this stuff. It just gives them a faux sense of meaning to take in to essentially a nihilistic time. Now, while I firmly believe that the future for us should be no more weakness in the face of wokeness, I quite like that one. That's like a campaign slogan for somebody, isn't it? We should be mindful that balkanization is highly likely in the future. And in any balkanization, you're likely to see different groups with different values and different political aims start to agitate for their own interests. And the Wokies should be left to this wonderland of Islamism and Black Lives Matter and gay rights, finally to see the consequences of the world that they demand. Anyway, that's a little taster for what I've got coming in the what to expect in the future video. Do let me know your thoughts on this video down below. And if you're new, please do consider subscribing to the channel.